Hi, I'm Mike Kinman, Rector of All Saints Church. My pronouns are he, him. A year ago at this time, we announced that we were undergoing a restructuring of All Saints Church staff and budget, both to get us through the pandemic and to build a bridge to a stronger All Saints Church in the future. Well, it's a year later and what a year it has been. The pandemic is still going on, though we are certainly hopeful the worst is behind us. And I want to update you on some important developments in that continuing work of restructuring staff and budget. Let's start with the staff. When we announced the restructuring last year, we realized it had been decades since a thorough assessment had been done of our administration and finance staffing policies and procedures. We said we needed a set of outside eyes to come in and help us look at ourselves and see how we might be more efficient as an organization and more fully live into our value of ethical stewardship. So throughout this year, we have been working with an excellent organization called MissionWell. MissionWell's whole business is to provide both analysis of and actual financial and administrative services for nonprofits and churches. With MissionWell's help, we were able to secure forgiveness of the payroll protection plan loan we were granted from the federal government last year. In working with them, we realized that they could provide a large portion of our accounting and financial services at a considerable cost savings to us. So, in late August, we signed a contract with Mission Well to provide accounting and payroll services to us, a move that meant the elimination of our full-time in-house accountant position, which will be a significant savings for the 2022 budget. At the same time, we are pleased to welcome a new face to the All Saints staff, and that is Samantha Kramer. Samantha is our new part-time human resources specialist. This has been a need for our staff for a long time. We are incredibly fortunate to have Samantha join us as she brings considerable experience in just the areas we need, implementing an employee review process and helping establish a more just and equitable salary structure to name just two. Throughout these transitions, our treasurer, Jim Alberano, has been invaluable. Jim has actually served as treasurer for more than seven years. However, it is in this past year that he has stepped up considerably, filling so many gaps during our transition to working with Mission Well and bringing on Samantha. Now that we've made these moves, Jim is going to be stepping down as treasurer, and he does so with our deep gratitude for not just the amazing work he has done, but the spirit of joy with which he has done it. Stepping in to fill the treasurer's role will be Karen Meyer. Karen is already a member of our Vestry and Finance Committee and works as the Financial Reporting and Compliance Analyst for Episcopal Communities and Services. Karen's going to be coming on for a two-year term, during which we will identify and train her successor, instituting a structure for succession planning we hope to expand to other areas of our life. Please, please take time to thank both Jim and Karen whenever you see them. We are so grateful to them both. Finally, I want to update you on the 2022 budget. We have been working on this budget since late spring, gathering input from staff and vestry and making planning assumptions similar to the process we followed last year. We've set an ambitious, yet we believe realistic pledge goal of $3.3 million, which we are already more than a quarter of the way to fulfilling. A task force has been working on a draft budget for 2022, which will go to Finance Committee this week and to Vestry next week for discussion and, we hope, adoption. It will then be presented to the congregation at our online town hall meeting at 6 p.m. Tuesday, October 26th. I hope you will join us that evening as we walk you through the highlights. Now, again, this will be a draft budget. Nothing is going to be final until the Vestry passes a final budget in the coming months. And it's going to give us a good sense of where we are structurally and financially as we head into the coming year. A big part of this coming year will be the strategic direction work we are doing as a community. As we emerge from this pandemic, we want to make sure we have tangible goals for living out our values of radical inclusion, courageous justice, joyful spirituality, and ethical stewardship. A first and crucial step in this process is your input. If you have not already completed the survey we sent out late last week, please take the time to do so. As always, I and your Vestry members are available to you to hear from you and answer any questions you might have. You can find us on the lawn each Sunday, and our contact information is on the All Saints Church website. 
I am excited about our future together and deeply grateful for the powerful way God's love shines through each of you and all of us. Please continue to hold All Saints Church in love and prayer. Please keep reaching out to each other in compassion. Be gentle and graceful with yourselves. And most of all, let's keep coming together. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye.